Hey guys, Taz here. Today I'm drawing more symmetry art, but this time it's not the usual Mandela style that I do for these videos. This time, it's a sword. I used to draw a lot of fantasy type swords back in high school, and the hardest part of drawing them was always trying to get them to be symmetrical. I'd spend a lot of time with my ruler and an eraser trying to get each side perfect. But with the wonders of technology, I can save so much time by drawing my designs on my tablet, instead of by hand in my sketchbook. I simply select the symmetry option before I start drawing, and now I have a perfect mirror image on either side of the page. Another option would be to draw one half in my sketchbook, and then trace over it on the tablet to fill out the opposite side. I decided for this drawing to go with a more simplistic design for the sword. I just downloaded a new recording software because my previous one stopped working, and I needed an easy design to use as a test. To fill out some of the empty space on the page, I decided to add some wing-like designs. Another thing I used to draw a lot of back in high school was flames, and different flame designs. One of my dad's friends used to pinstripe cars and paint flames by hand, and I was lucky enough that he taught me a bit of how to do it. I'm a few years out of practice at this point, but I think my flames turned out okay. I started off just freestyling the flames, regardless of if they overlap the sword or not. The intention was that I'd color them on the background separately, and then have the sword on top on a different layer. But once I had them all drawn out, I realized I didn't like the placement, so I spent some time off camera redrawing a few parts. And here I'm just messing with the various layers and opacities to help me decide what changes I want to make to the drawing. Better for me to get everything sorted out before I start adding colors. So after redrawing and smoothing out some of the line art, this is my drawing before color. Next is when I lay out the flats, deciding what colors to use before adding the shading. I always save a copy of my drawing when it's just the line art. That way I have it for future projects, such as if I want to make a coloring book. The wing-like designs I did with the sword reminds me of a harp for some reason, so I use that as inspiration to help decide what colors to use. On the flames I changed all the outlines to be yellow. I wanted to make it look more like they were in the background. As for the sword and wings, I kept the black outlines so they'd pop to the foreground more easily. Here's where I worked with a gradient to help fill in the background. I wanted it to look like the light source was radiating outward from under the sword itself. And I like how vibrant the flames look on the black. Next came the shading. I started with the wings, keeping the idea of harps in mind, so I made them look kind of goldish. I used white for the highlighted tones where the light comes in, and I used orange for the darker shades. I used a brush at a lower opacity, and then layered over it to build up the highlights and shadows. It takes a bit more time to do, but I like the end results. It's a bit tough to see what I'm doing here. I kept the page zoomed out because I wanted to be able to see both wings at the same time. 
I wanted to try and match the highlights and shades on each of the wings to make them look symmetrical with the highlights towards the light source coming out from under the sword. Then I moved on to the blade of the sword. After the blade, I moved on to the hilt of the sword. I don't have every bit of coloring I did recorded. Again, I was using new recording software for this, and I missed a couple of things. I'll probably do a couple more sword drawings, because there's just something so much fun about designing a weapon. But here's the final piece. Overall, I think it turned out pretty well. If you have any ideas or things you'd like to see me draw, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, this is Taz, and thanks for watching.